Hello friends, welcome. My name is Sarveshwar. In this video, we would learn how to run vector autoregression model in ABUS. Okay friends, first let me describe the data. This is the log price series of spot and future prices of agri index maintained by MCX of India. Okay friends, so these are two price series that we know a prior they are I1. They are known stationary at level and stationary at their first differences. Okay, friends. Now come to the VAR modeling. Whenever we run a VAR model, friends, we need to select the variables. So I select the sport and future prices. You need to ensure that both the price series you are or any number of series three, four, five, they should be stationary. Since I know they are not stationary, I would be using their first differences while running the VAR modeling. Okay friends, so just click right click and then select as var, unrestricted var, click on unrestricted var and take their first differences. If you are having their first differences already, select the series of first difference or their returns we say generally. Okay friends, so now we are having two price series, it could be n number of series here, those are stationary. Second the leg length we don't know the exact leg length here so what we will do simply we would run a regression with any number of arbitrary leg length suppose I say 5 it doesn't matter here friends okay then it runs a VAR model so first we need to decide an appropriate optimal leg length that we choose by AIC or BIC criteria so how to do that you go to view after estimating the VAR model you go to view tab here friends you go to view tab here and click OK click and then go to lag structure and then lag length criteria okay friends view lag structure and then lag length criteria here you can put again arbitrary number so up to which lag you want to consider so I say 30 okay friends these are different criteria view we use so from SIC and AIC these are the most used SIC says one lag length and AIC says seven lag length so you can choose any so I am choosing AIC because it is mostly used criteria so I say the lag length is seven so now we go to estimate again and just change the lag length one to seven okay friends it's lag length from one to seven all intercept I have taken here if you are having other variables like dummy variables or other uh, exogenous variable you could include them here but here we are not having them so simply we have clicked on unrestricted var and then difference of the series to make them stationary and the appropriate lag and intercept in the model you could put trend here you could choose any other dummy variable here also or some other variables as well and this is the sample size you could also change it if you want to do it for forecasting purpose and then click OK now we have the estimated VAR model and their coefficient so the simple interpretation is not possible but just to like rule of thumb what we say if this square bracket shows us the T statistics if it is more than 1.96 that is 95 percent confidence interval value uh, if it is more than 1.96 positive negative doesn't matter so we say that lag is important that lag is having significant impact on dependent variable like here it's like in this case if you see it's 2.63 which is more than 1.96 so it has significant impact and similarly but here it's not more than that 0.42 so it is not having a significant impact but such kind of significance and not significant values uh, doesn't give a robust result whether a series leads to other or not for that purpose we conduct Granger causality test that we have shown in next videos so in this reference uh, we could run VAR model in eViews keep watching friends in next videos I would show how to run VCA model if the prices we are having are co-integrated and uh, some other videos those are very interesting and helpful for applied econometrics research papers if you like my videos please subscribe my channel or encourage me by liking my videos thanks friends keep watching